Some of the hard questions I want to ask when I'm elected as congressperson, congressman, why does, uh, when we turn our showers on, or our sinks, or we run a tub of water for our children, it smells like a swimming pool? Why is there so much chlorine in our water? Why is it that uh, the Catawba River system, and particularly quietly after a heavy rain, it's full of wood and trees? I understand that uh, some of it comes down the river, but where's all this coming from? Where's all the debris coming from? in our lake, in our drinking water, in the nuclear cooling tower lake that's used to cool nuclear towers. Uh, why was all the topsoil sold off on this development 20 years ago and all the trees were clear cut? And now they take stuff off the top of the ground, put it on our property and say it's topsoil, but yet it won't grow grass. It's nothing but rocks. Those are the kind of questions I want to ask. There are other developments exactly the same way all over the 5th District. I've been talking to people. People are fed up. I want to ask those hard questions. I want to know the answers. I want to know why this is happening. Who's making the decisions behind this stuff? Are we all a bunch of sheep and we're just supposed to take whatever they want to give us? No, it's not going to happen. When I get that congressional seat, I'm going to ask the hard questions, and I'm going to pass legislation to make people that are doing this kind of stuff fix it. It needs to be done. Why do every time I go fishing, I always let the fish go automatically. I don't, I don't keep them. But I've been told by hundreds of people, don't ever eat anything out of that lake. Why is that? Those are the hard questions someone needs to ask. Maybe we need to run some tests. That's what a congressperson does. They protect their constituents. They take care of the people within their district. You all have a good evening. I'm going to bed, and God bless.